I just wanted to give everyone a happy, it's Monday morning here and it's cold, but I just want to give everybody a quick, um, a quick video and uh, let you know, you know, what it takes to run a, a, a good sized eBay business. I just wanted to give everybody a quick look. This is what my storage unit looks like. Um, I know it's a little bit dark, sorry about that. Um, in the middle I have racks for some of the breakables. I do have um, a, some clothing in here, some heavier jackets, but this gives you an idea of what it's like to run a very good sized eBay store. And and I, in all honesty, I have to thank my husband. He, he is so organized. He keeps this like so nice. I mean, it does, it does take two of us. And I can tell you almost every tub in this place is filled. Um, I have over 1400 items in my eBay store. So I just want to give a big thank you to Carl and give everybody a quick peek at uh, where I go when I pick up my items before I ship them. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye for now. All right, everyone, the first thing I did when I came in is I stopped at the Easter and they had put out a bunch of Easter stuff. I love this big uh, box down here, this one, but um, I just, I don't have room for any of it, but I'm gonna show you what I did grab. So I did grab one of these, um, these bunnies. She's so just really nicely done. I also got two of these huge, um, eggs. I also got two, and these are actually um, Disney plates. Um, those are from the Disney store. I, I don't know if those are worth anything, but I know I'm going to get the eggs because those will go, those will probably go to my, my booth. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys a couple of little things that I grabbed like right when I walked in the door. I did go and look at the purse rack, but I didn't grab anything out of there. Um, I've noticed the the prices are get are getting more expensive in the purse rack, and um, the ones I actually looked at, they were they were pretty beaten up. So I, I kind of left them, but um, yeah. So I didn't grab anything. And I was looking at the egg light down there. That was cute. I love seeing all the Easter stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the shoes and see if uh, anything jumps out at us. It's been a few days since I've been here. Oh, these are pretty. See, these J. Crew slippers are really nice. These look brand new to me. Um, so those might just go with me um, because, you know, J. Crew is a is a nice brand, and for a pair of slippers that looks pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna. Whoops, I forgot about those plates. I better put those plates. I better um, go ahead and just stack them a little bit better so they're off before I put stuff in and I forget they're down there. I did see these volatile um, sandals. I mean, volatile is a pretty good brand. They actually look pretty good. That's just the only mark on them is like a sticker mark and the bottoms have a little bit of wear. Um, I'll put those in and I'll check those out too. Those might be okay. It's, um, it is time to start grabbing, you know, spring and, and summer things it's it's cold as heck outside but you know you, these are a pair of sloggers sloggers used to have a great a good amount of value i'm gonna grab those i don't know if they still have value but um uh, i'll grab those and we'll i'll take a quick look and see if it's going to be worth getting those it might it just might not be and i do see like the sketchers down here I do see the dance go, but those are really worn. These are um, these are loft. Those are box. Um, I have been picking up some really nice wedges and and pieces and stuff. So um, you know, I, I am moving into the moving into that stuff. What are these yellow ones right here? These don't say anything on them. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and move back here. Find out. Um, we'll stop and we'll, I'll go and we'll look at the purses first. These are still here. See, here's another pair. Those, uh, that, that style just doesn't, I don't do very well with. And they had them in the red and they had them in the, in the, um, now they have them in the brown. Here's a new Calvin Klein belt. This is brand new. 
I'm, I'm curious to see. I don't think, I don't think they marked it up. I don't know. I'm, I might do that. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll toss, we'll toss this in the cart and we'll take a look. I, I might, I might do that. Some Nautica. All right, let's, let's start back here in the purse. So they've switched everything up. So we're going to start down here in the black section. See what we can find. This is really a, a, a bright purse. Who makes it though? Oh, is that an ink? Okay, so that's an INC purse. So I doubt that'll be something I want. This is nine in company, this black one. Um, so I have seen some of these. Some of these have been sitting here for a while, so. I don't think I ever figured out who made that one, but it, it, it it's very light. So I think I'll leave that. We'll come up here and we'll check back behind these two. I don't think I want any of those. This one kind of looks like a Kate Spade knockoff. I'm gonna, um, oh, it's got a label in it. Let's see like dreams okay whenever i see that bow i always think of kate spade now what is this oh that's a bcbg i used to pick up some of their stuff not not so much anymore Got some, we got our Vera Bradley there. I like the color, I like the green color on that one, but you know, once again, I can't, uh, the Vera Bradley, if you're, if you're spending more than a couple of bucks for me, unless it's a certain one, they just don't, they don't sell, they sit. So I'm gonna leave those, I think. Someone else will enjoy that. We got some beach bags here. But none of these look like they're gonna be a um, an LL bean or anything like that. What is this here? This one kind of has a fancy emblem on the front of it. Who is this? Mark and Hall, okay. Well, I didn't really grab anything out of here. I tried, but what is this one right here? This is pretty. Oh, this is one of those uh, Charmes. It's it's pretty. It's in great shape. Um, I don't know if it's the fabric is. It is. Um, it is made in China. I don't think it's gonna be leather. It, it just, it, for some reason, it, it just doesn't quite feel like it. So I think we'll leave that. There's a Walt Disney World um, tote. I don't, I don't know if their, their tote bags and things like that have any value. It's, it's, it's looking kind of worn. Walt Disney, 1971. You know what, I'll put it in there and I'll see if it, I don't know if it's actually 1971, but if it's vintage, that might change things on it. So I'll put it in the cart and we'll, we'll figure, we'll figure that out, that it, it might make a difference. Okay. Um, so they do have all their hats in here and they are, um, they're pretty much tossed in here pretty good. This is a, like a scout, um, cell phone. Thing. Once in a while, I pick up Scout stuff, but usually it's like one of their tote bags. It's usually if something is like new and stuff like that. And I have found some of their stuff. Um, I don't know if it was dropped off from um, dropped off from um, a store, but I, I have have before. Oh, 
Oh, what's this? Oops, sorry. What's this one right here? I cannot figure out what that is. I'm going to have to put this in the cart and do a, um, a look up because I can't see the, what the label on that one says. But it seems to be a nice quality. Um, I do see the bean boots down here. Whoops, sorry, they're stuck on something. I don't know if they, ooh, that's, that's a lot of dog hair in them. I think I'm gonna leave these. I'm, I'm not sure that they haven't removed the insides on them too. So we'll, we'll leave those. This says officially licensed. Oh, well, somebody took the tag off. So something was officially licensed, but we don't know what that is now. Did you guys did you guys get to see the little piano literally literally it's a little piano so i thought i would show that to you so you could see it okay so i'm gonna put some of these hats up here on the top hat section just so i can see what's in what's in this um i got mickey somebody you know i have suspect somebody must have had a disney collection because there i have picked up a few disney pieces since we walked since i walked in so that's a, a possibility. Um, that looks like a Marvel hat. Okay, let's go back to the shoes. I think we'll go we'll go back to our shoes. See these box are nice, but that doesn't. I don't think that one's even. I don't think that's even leather. The, there. So there is two. There is a. There's. A, a line as far as Bach goes. Um, they do make some that are not leather. Oh, these are great. Look at the fit flops. Those are really pretty. These look like they're brand new too. We'll put those in the cart. I don't know if the metallic ones will be great, the ballet ones. Most of the time when people buy the fit flops, they're buying them because they need the comfort shoes because they're, they have like an orthotic bottom on some of them. So, these are Sperry's. I will have to take a look and see if the if the flat ones like that sell as well as more of the orthotic does. Now what are these down here? Who makes these? These are this is kind of a neat. It's a tooled leather, little brown like booty. And who makes it? Oh, it's made by uh, Le Artiste. I like this brand. I recently bought myself a pair of sandals. Um, so I'm going to grab this because I know that brand is not going to be inexpensive. Here's a pair of Born booties. Oh, those are really cute. They mark the Born booties up to $15. Um, I don't know if, if I'm going to get them for that price, but um, I will put them in... I will put them in and I'll figure that out, but these these I really like. I love that tooled on leather on those. Okay, so let's keep on going. So mind you, you know, those are all down on the bottom shelf. So you, you have to get down and look at the bottom shelves. That's it's it's important. What are these? For okay, those are forever 21s. Let's see what else we have here. Nope, I don't want any of those. I've already did a bunch of listing this morning. So whatever I get today will will probably possibly be listed later today or I might wait till tomorrow on it just because I was already up doing that today. Who makes these? I love comfort. Okay. I love comfort. Okay, let's put these back up here. They were kind of wonky when I came over, so try to get them back on. Okay. We have some Vince Commutos. I do see some Tommy Hilfiger's. Some of these look like they might have been dropped off. Um, dropped off from the from the store, like I said, I do think this Goodwill gets the outlet drop off. So when they, um... 
What are these? These are in orthotic insoles. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know about that, but I'm going to leave that. You know, like I said, anytime I've, I've bought things like that, orthotic, you know, socks or anything, they, it doesn't work out well for me. So I'm going to kind of leave that behind. What are these down at the bottom? These kind of have a strange look to them. Look at the bottoms. They're like cloudies. Um, I can't read that at all. They, they're, they're, they're interesting, but I don't know. Something is, is different. I mean, these are like, huh. Okay, well, I'm not sure about those. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to leave those behind and keep on moving down the aisle. Now, what are these? Maurice's. Those are Maurice's. Okay. Um, oh, here's a pair of Coolaburra, uh, which are Uggs. Those are really cute, though. These are actually in really nice condition. I mean, look at those. They're, they're nice. Um, I'll have to look up the, the value on those. I, I mean, I like, I like buying Uggs, especially if they're, if they're in, in, in nice condition. These, okay, so those are Kim Rogers. Now, what are these guys here? Oh, these are Uggs too. But see, they marked those to 20. They're like a sock Ugg. Okay, so this pair has been marked up to 20. I don't know how I feel about that for 20. They're in nice shape though. I mean, there's not even a lot of wear on them, but you know what, I'll put them in and I'll check to see. I know, you know, just, just like a lot of other things, certain style in the Uggs will have more value. But as I was spying those, I saw these cute little Kate Spades down there. These are cute. Need to trim up the Ooh, I need to trim up the um, the bow a little. It's getting a little jagged. Or you know what? Maybe it's supposed to be jagged at the end. I think it's looking like that on, on both ends. Huh. Or is that just something wrong with them? I'm not sure. I will have to go and double check those. and I will have to do a little check on those and see. But um, little Kate Spade patent leather. Kind of reminding me of little kid shoes, the ones you used to wear with the kids used to wear with their little dresses. Those are Lauren Conrad's. Those are a pair of Sunitas, the boat, the patent leather clogs. These are a pair of Franco Sardos. Those are actually very cute. The bottom, the back heel is a little bit worn, but those those aren't bad. I don't buy a lot of Franco Sardos, but I will when I when I like the way the shoe looks. Okay, these are a pair of box. No, the inside of those is is coming. The back is coming apart on those, so we'll leave those. So these are a pair of Top Shop. Um, Top Shop stuff used to sell really well, but um, not so much anymore. You know, everything goes through phases with this stuff. Where some brands, you know, they fall out of favor and, you know, then they come back and it's, you know, it just depends. Got some Adidas. These are Ann Klein's. We got some Vans. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? So far, nothing is jumping out at me, not even the... Here's a pair of Skechers work shoes, but they marked, they marked them up to $15, in case you're wondering. Sometimes, though, the Skechers work shoes, work shoes certain styles can do really well. Um, but, like I said, when they, when they mark them up, then you, then you kind of have to say no. If these would have been in better shape, I would have got these these T these uh, Keens, but they're, I mean, they're completely worn out. So, I don't know what those are. Havana, vintage Havana. Yeah. Sometimes I do find some nice, um, you know, sneakers and. And things like that, the high-end ones. 
This is really pretty. My mom would like that. I, I could see her liking that. What size is that? I might get that for her. That is beautiful. Look at the colors on that. She might really like something like that. That's very pretty. I can't even, I, I do like the colors on it. Let me just check to see if there's any. Um, no, it looks great. That's just the, this just, it's rolled. The inside is like a, a different color. Now, why is there a, okay, so the, I was like thinking, why is there a snap there? Because the pocket's folded in. You know what, I might get that for her. Um, I am cleaning. If you saw one of my previous videos, I bought her a bunch of stuff. And so it's only a couple days after that sale. So I will probably spend this afternoon cleaning things and getting them, um, oh, these are really nice, and getting, getting them um, ready for her. Oh, those are cute. Look at these little pants. They seem to be a really nice quality, too. I'll put those in the cart. I might keep those for myself. They're, um, you know, when you're short, it's nice because they're, they're a nice pant, but they have the um, elastic on the back of the bottom, so I don't have to worry about the length being too long because most pants, I either have to hem them or roll them. I can't, there's no... There's no in between for me. So when I can buy things like that, there's a nice pan and it's already got the bottom kind of taken care of and it helps me. What are these? These are Strive. Those are cute, but they mark those up too. I'll have to come in. I'm gonna look at this stuff real quick because the, the cute little girl is putting the clothes out back there. So, you know, and I know she doesn't mind if I look. So I'm gonna take a quick look. You know, not all Goodwills are the same. Sometimes they don't really want you to look at the the racks, you know, when they're putting them out. So you, you kind of have to figure out what, you, what your Goodwills policy is. But I know she doesn't mind. So I was just kind of glancing like at the dresses, you know, like I said, I, I will take a, a quick little look, but I know I won't, I won't spend the day looking through the clothes racks. I just, I won't do that, but um, I will kind of glance as they're putting something out in case something just jumps out at me. Oh, that's pretty. That's Ellen Tracy. That's, that's nice too. That's really pretty. It's really long. It has a little bit of a gold shimmer in it. That's really pretty. I'll put this in the cart too. That that might that might go with us too. Okay. That looks like an that looks like an old Gloria Vanderbilt. Look at that label on that. You know what? I, I would not be surprised if something like this has value. These are actually shorts. Um, it's, it is, um, cotton. It's a size large. I wouldn't, I would not be surprised, but I just, I'm not, I'm not, I don't like returns. And when you buy something that specific, then you have to worry that, you know, here's a who, what, where shirt. That one's really cute. That's really cute. Who, what, where used to be a really good brand too, but I like the colors. There's kind of oranges and rusts and stuff. I'll toss that in the pile too. Like I said, today might be a, um, a kind of a, a random day. You never, you never, you never know what you're going to come home with. It's got some Ralph Lauren shirts. Mark Anthony. I've done, I've done well, um, that's, that's pretty too, this looks more vintage. I've done well with, um, this season, this year, I've done well with men's jackets. So I, I have been buying more of the, the men's pieces. Okay, that's Vibe, Heimish, Regular Plus, that's Lane Bryant. Jones, New York. I do kind of want to stop. Oh, this looks like the nicer stuff. Lawrence Kazar. Sarah. 
Coldwater Creek. Oh, somebody dumped, dumped off their dress collection, and they had some nice ones in here. What's this red one? Knox Rose, so that'd be Target. Torrid. Oh, this one is Philosophy. Oh, I like the black. I like the black and white. This is almost like a pajama, though. That's really cute, though. Um, what is okay? What is this one? So I'm grabbing them. That's an extra small. That's a loft. Yeah, I'm, I'm really leery of buying things that are very sized. I want to say specific because you know, like I said, everybody. Uh, fits differently. I was going to say, I bought a pair that was just like this, but it was, um, oh, these are Ann Taylor's. I bought a pair that was just like these, but they were Lily Pulitzer's. And um, I like the green. I'm going to put the green there. Um, they sold super quick, like really fast. Here's some Eileen Fishers in orange, some J. Jill's, um, Talbot's. You can, sometimes you can tell that it's the same person when all the pants and, and everything seem very close inside. Okay, so these are Eddie Bowers. Those are, those are adorable. Those are a size four, though. They're very small. Um, too small for me. So we're going to keep looking. This one, is, oh, see, this one is Chaps. Those are really pretty colors. Nice colors. Greens and blues and... There's a Banana Republic. Oh, that's cute. It's got a little, like, a drawstring at the bottom. That's, that's really nice. Okay. Philosophy. I don't know about you, but um, I am very patterned, patterned with my clothing that if I like something, I tend to, this is upon you, I tend to buy several of it in different colors so I am very patterned with my my items okay well I didn't grab anything else out of that let's let's keep going back here see what else we can find get the lamps and stuff but I don't see anything back there so let's go ahead and hit back here oh well, here we have a bunch of DVDs and stuff and as usual, I will. I always look for my next um, my next series or something that I want to see. Um, I've I've sold the Star Wars things before. Um, there's these are a lot of Blu-rays. Um, I'm always looking for for series and stuff. That way we can he and I can binge watch stuff. So we're gonna. Nope. Don't see anything there. Oh, there's some more down here. What is this one down there? Oh, there's Transformers, the two movie collection, Excalibur. Ah, oh, the yearling. Yep. Okay. Um, what else is here? What is this? Oh, okay, prison break. Where the wild things are. Up, oh, favorite children's book. One of my favorite books right there, Where the Wild Things Are. Um, Spaceballs, okay. The B-Movie, Beyond Borders, Blackbird, Ninja Turtles. Okay, I didn't find any series I needed to, to watch, so let's move on to the next cart. It's not too crowded in here, so I think we'll have some time to, you know, kind of look at things and see what we can find. Oh, look at the little, did you guys see the little Easter bunnies? <laughs> they're, they're literally in a basket and there's a little nativity behind it, but um, it looks like one of those plastic ones. What is this? The Game of Thrones for players. Okay, it's not my thing. What about this Wilson glove? This is a softball glove. Actually, oh, this one is actually in great condition. Um, I'll, I'll look that one up and I'll see. That might be something I might grab today. 
And I know these are Revere wear, but unless they're the gold bottoms, I tend to just, I've been leaving them. I haven't been taking them. So we'll come over here and we'll look at this stuff too. Got some bakeware. I like the pineapples. We'll have to go and see what those look like in a minute. Got the Oneida. Okay. So these are, oh, these are $28.99 for the pineapple lamps. They're very cool. Um, you know, pineapple is a big thing. It's the welcome symbol in Williamsburg where I live. So you do see a lot of uh, pineapple decor here. These are elastic bands. So for those of you who are like, how come you didn't get that? I, I just, I see so much of it here. The, this is pretty too, the little um, jewelry tray. Definitely an older one. Oh, this is from the Williamsburg Drug Company. You know, that is very pretty. I'm almost tempted because I'm, I'm, I never really get into this stuff, but this is really nice. And here's another one. Oh, that's just a little mirror frame. Okay. All right. So let's keep going. We'll come and look. Somebody wanted those pineapple lamps. I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to put this on the cart. I might, I might look into something like that today. I have been buying more hard goods. So we have the little Halloween dogs right there. What is this one? This is 1991 Cook. That's really pretty though. This is a really good size mug. I'm, look at the size, this is a good size mug. Look at this tiny little handle though. You can barely get your fingers through that. I think I'm gonna leave that one though. That would not be comfortable for a mug that size to have to hold it through that tiny little handle would be, would not be fun for me. There's a circus coffee pot. Sorry, it takes me a minute to kind of glance over everything. Is this one so, uh, I do have another stop after this to make so hopefully I'll, I'll find some some more stuff <clears throat> I knew this was going to be a quick stop in here today I'm just gonna glance at the toys I do see the uh, the Squishmallow. Oh, look how pretty this tiger is. He's got pretty, pretty eyes. Very, more realistic. He feels really nice too, but there's no label on him. Very pretty though. Nice, nice quality. Okay, look at this dog. He's made of like a... Oh, he's coming apart at the neck. Look at how cute that is. Look at those look at those eyes. Oh, that's sweet. Someone will buy him and, and fix him. He's really just cute. So nobody he won't get left behind. Alright. I don't see anything over here. Let's go ahead and look at this stuff over here. This is kind of their red aisle. Used to be all the Christmas. Look at the size of these. I bet these um, used to do pretty well, but they're, they're they've got chips on them. In case you're wondering, that's up. If, if they've already if they've already got damage, I don't even bother to look them up. I'm not seeing anything on either side. I like those oil lamps are cute, but um, I'm not, not thinking I want to do those. Anything different over here? What's it? This was probably a Bath and Body Works. It looks like it. It is. 
think I'll leave that one though. I, I do buy some of those candle votive hooders, especially if they're the fancier ones. Oh, look at that down there. That's kind of interesting. Now what, now what is this? They're not done extremely well, but they are a full set. Oh, they're, they're bells. Yeah, I'm gonna leave those. They're, they're not painted that well. They definitely don't look old. So I wouldn't say that those were very old. I do see the phone, but that does not look old to me either. Oh, here's some ink. I will buy, I will buy Hewlett Packard ink. This one expired in 20 and 21. Expired ink does sell, okay? If it's new in box and it's a, you know, a good quality. I don't know if you have bought ink lately or gone and looked at the price of ink um, for your printers. It has gone through the roof. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves Masterpiece. What is this? Let me see. Oh, okay, so that would be the video collection. It's it's definitely older, but it's pretty, um, if the box would have stayed nice, I probably that probably would have been something very cool. But this is, um, it's still sealed in there too. Yeah, I think I'll leave that one behind. If the box was in better condition, I, I might think about something like that, but I'm gonna grab this little ink right there. Okay, let's go one more aisle. We'll have to figure out what we're gonna get. I did grab some clothes today, so I will have to look over things a little bit closer. Well, I'm not seeing anything over here that I have to have. Here's some uh, window art. Oh, oh, that one's broken. As soon as I picked it up, I could feel that. Here's some old uh, borders. Um, old vintage wallpaper does can do very, can do well. If you have new rolls of old vintage wallpaper, um, especially if they're name brands, keep an eye out on those. Um, all right. Well, you know what? I am going to check my card, and then I think I'm going to move on and get out of here and move on to my my next store. She might have just put a new cart out over here. Let me let me just walk over here and look. Yeah, it looks like she did. Some angels. Oh. That's cute. That's just like a decorative pumpkin. Pumpkin though. Nope. This is cute. The little. Uh... This is a. This might be an old one. I can't see what that says on the bottom. I'm gonna leave that one there. What is about this? Housewares? Oh, this is pretty. This looks like, um, yeah, Johnson's Brothers. Look how pretty that is. This is a beautiful set. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I do like the Johnson Brothers, but um, they only had like one or two pieces. So, all right, I think I am going to move on and I will come back and give you guys a recap a little bit later. Hi everyone, I just wanna recap the things that I got at Goodwill today. Um, I did get some interesting items. I did get these very large German paper mache eggs. They're like, they're each like a little over 10 inches tall. So they're the big ones. Um, I did get this Victorian Easter bunny. I just thought she was really pretty and she seems to be in really good condition. So I did grab her. She'll probably go to the booth. Um, I have no idea of um, the value of her per se. Um, once I look her up, maybe she'll go to eBay, but I, I did intend for her to go to the booth. So I did grab the big Victorian bunny. I did buy a pair of the Kulabara, um, by Ugg, um, boots. Um, they happen to be my size and they're brand new. So I don't think, I think I might just keep those for next year and toss them in the closet. Um, you know, cause you always need stuff and, 
And it's, when I find stuff that I like, it's, I just, uh, sometimes I'll just put it away. I did find a pair of La Artiste um, booties. Uh, I love the tooled leather. La Artiste is a wonderful brand. Um, very pretty shoes, very custom, very artistic looking. Uh, I did get a brand new pair of Fit Flops right here. Um, tags are still on them. Um, I did get a pair of um, older Disney um uh, plates. Uh, these are actually from the Disney store. I want to say they're Canadian though, for some reason. Oh no, these are actually, these are actually the American ones. Okay. So these, these are from the Disney store. Um, I just thought they were really cute. I did get a pair of these born, um, boots. I paid $10 for these, but they're in excellent condition. And this style does sell a little bit better. So I will get those listed right away, knowing that, you know, we're starting to go into summer and this and that. Um, and, uh, oh, and out of all the things I bought, that's actually just, um, a little mark. The little mark on it is just a sticker out of all the things that I bought. This was kind of a surprise. This is made by style built. Um, this is just one of those, uh, you know, little mirror trays that you, you, you could have in your, your bedroom or, decoration. I was surprised at the value on this. I mean, originally when this was sold, it was $27. Um, it looks like at the drug store and that was back in, um, 1998. Um, I saw one of these on eBay that sold for mm, like $50. I was, I was pretty surprised. Um, this was a this one is in great condition. Um, I will do a little more research on it and I'll obviously get the sticker off of it, but I was kind of surprised at the value on this little like mirror. I, I don't know if that's considered Regency or exactly what, you know, it's not super old, but it has, it has really good style. Um, so that one was, was kind of surprised. Um, oh, I spent $5.99. So in case you're wondering, I spent $5.99 on that. Uh, I'll, um, and my, my eggs over there, my big paper mache eggs were each $3.99. So my total spent um, today at the Goodwill, I believe, was $66, something like that, about $66. Um, so not, you know, not a huge amount. It was kind of you know, kind of a, um, you know, just a real quick trip in there. And, um, you know, like I said, I got a few things and the Easter stuff, I will get that listed right away, obviously, because it's, it's coming up. So I want to get that stuff, you know, out and listed, but you know, that was it. That's, that's what I got for today. So as, as usual, if you want to look at some of the items, you can go to the link to the, my eBay store. It's, it should be in my about section, um, on YouTube. Um, if you have any questions or comments, I love talking to you. And if you haven't, please like, and subscribe. And as usual, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.